As more and more unit blocks pop up in our suburbs, the self-storage industry has grown into a billion-dollar-a-year business. But a warning, one man says he'll never do it again. Matt Edwards is not a happy man. To be hit twice in, in four days. Questioning that advertising out front. Nobody else can get in. <laughs> no, that's not true. His storage space at Kennards is looking a little light on at the moment. Yeah, approximately $30,000. His tradie tools, expensive bike, a safe and contents, all gone. You may know Matt's been broken into twice. I believe so, yeah. Kennards at Sandgate in Newcastle looks like Fort Knox out front. But round back... Yeah, so this is a security fence. It's actually a chook wire fence. And by now you can guess what happened to poor okay. old Matt. So they've cut the fence down there, opened the fence right up, and in they've gone and helped themselves to what they want. On the first occasion, it appeared that they've come in through this way. Yes, thieves broke into this secure storage site for which he forks out a pretty penny. So how much are you paying a month for all that? Uh, 465 a month. So over a hundred bucks a week? Well over that, yes. And you could have got your mate's garage for 20 bucks a week I and put a padlock yeah, on that. That's right, yep. And, and I'd say I'd still have my stuff. You'll notice the commitment and care. Kennards in proudly boasts their security. For your peace of mind, Kennards provides closed circuit camera surveillance, access control systems, individually alarmed units. And Matt says there's intense. no mention of the chicken wire fence we out also, back. And the uh, perpetrators are just cutting the uh, the fence and heading straight down on this little hill here and straight to access on the road down there. Once in, there's no state-of-the-art card key entry or bolted doors to Matt's unit. It's a padlock. It's a padlock, yeah. And you've got to and supply that yourself and they sell those in the office. They sell I bet they go through those like hotcakes. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a few in there on the walls here. You've bought right. two. It's, it's self-supplied. It's a padlock that they put on themselves. But a padlock yeah, and, a, and a chicken wire fence at the back. It's not chicken wire. Well, it's it's a wire fence. It's, so, it, it ain't what's out the front here. What it's Matt's most upset about is he didn't get what he thought he was getting. Individually alarm spaces with back-to-base monitoring. At no point there does it actually say that some spaces are in individually alarmed. Some are alarmed, some aren't alarmed. I'm under the impression that when I badge out, put my code in on the way out, that that turns my alarm on and it, my stuff's safe and off I go. But it's not. Matt it's tells us his contract gives no option for having an alarm or not. Then there's those security cameras. Surely they picked up the robbers. Another camera there. Now, my unit can be seen the fourth door in there. And it'd have to be about no more than 15 metres away from the camera. Vision was absolutely horrendous. But the police have indicated to me that the vision is, is very unclear and they, that they can hardly make anything out. The police say that they can't see anything on the vision. But how come when the vision... With all those cameras and advertised alarms... Well, I didn't take out insurance because I just felt that I wouldn't need it. I wouldn't need it. I thought my stuff would be completely secure. Kennard says as part of the sign-up process, our teams show customers the unit they are going to rent and also inform them whether they are alarmed or unalarmed. The storage units are priced accordingly. There are many measures Kennard Self Storage has in place to increase the security of our properties. Customers do store at their own risk and insurance is encouraged. I'd like Kennards to, um, to do the, or the only thing that's right and, and compensate me for my losses. In the meantime, he gives this advice to all who use or are thinking about using a storage facility. Make sure that what you, what you think you've got actually is what you've actually got. Well, Canards declined an interview. You'll find the company's full statement on our website.